morning, it's Dr. Nicola, and I wanted to touch base with you today because there's been a theme coming up with my patients this week, and it has been this idea of having an agenda with ourselves. And so anybody who's done work with me, or you know, there's a lot of other ways to access it, has come to an understanding that we get to show up for ourselves. And at the end of the day, that's really what healing is, is this idea that no matter what, I love you anyway. I screwed up. I loved you any. I love you anyway. I had tone in my voice. I love you anyway. I made a mistake. I love you anyway. And this is really, really important um, because that's how we nurture self-love, and that's how we stay in connection and in alignment with ourselves. Not just on an emotional plane, which is really, really important, but on a um, on a physiological plane as well. We're actually resetting our electromagnetic field when we come back into alignment with ourselves, when we show more love and compassion and understanding to ourselves. And so uh, I work with a lot of folks and some of these folks we were talking with, I was talking with last week and they were saying, you know, I've been doing this thing, but that part of me is still there, or I'm still feeling this way towards my husband, or I'm still angry or upset about this, or I'm still grieving. And then it dawned on me that when we show up with an agenda, like I will show up to love this part of me that I don't really actually like very much because I'm ready for it to go away. <laughs> and I'm ready for it to move on, or I'm ready for it to not be here anymore. Our system knows that, that we're showing up with an agenda and will not respond to the love in the same way. So I, the analogy I always use is like a little kid, right? If um, there's a little kid and they want your attention and they're like, hey, let me show you this thing. And you're like, oh yeah, that's cool, but you're kind of half paying attention and not really paying attention, chances are they'll be like, oh wait a minute, one more time, or I didn't do it quite right, or let me show you again, because they know that you're not genuinely present to what they're trying to show or, or you know, demonstrate to you. Um, I can't remember, my son was doing something with a Lego where he was flipping it over and I was kind of half engaged and it wasn't until I put everything down and said, okay, I'm, I'm here with you, I'm, I'm right here and gave him my 100% presence and then he was actually able to complete his trick that he wanted to show me with ease and then we were done with it. And so we are the same for ourselves. So if we show up for ourselves kind of half present or with an agenda like, yeah, 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 show me that thing so you can get your shoes on and we can get to school, um, it never works. And it's not going to work for ourselves either. And so when I invite you to just simply show up for the hurt, for the shame, for the sadness, for the anger, for the joy, for whatever it is that's present in your system, I mean, genuinely show up with no agenda. Just, you know what? I'm here just to listen. I'm here to see you in, you know, whatever state of being you're in and love on you anyway. And so I invite you this week when, when tough emotions come up or you're feeling stuck or in a difficult situation or stressed out, can you slow down? Can you breathe? Can you connect into that part of yourself that's carrying that emotion and just let them know, hey, I'm here and it's okay that you're feeling that way. And you can feel that way for as long as you need to feel that way. I'm not here to change your point of view. I'm just here to be with you in it. And this idea of being with rather than solving or doing something for is really a huge paradigm shift. So as you're playing with it this week, I'll be really curious to hear some feedback around where you catch yourself with a hidden agenda, because a lot of times we don't know that agenda's here. And then also what happens when you shift that point of view from, I'm going to you know, be kind to myself because I need something from me um, versus I'm going to show up because that's what I do for me as I, as I show up and I show up and I show up again. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Dr. Nicola Dellinger and uh, I really appreciate your time. Okay, talk to you soon. Be well.